meteorologist Peter Hall. It's another day, another month, another week, and it's the same old weather pattern. Unfortunately, we have rain in the forecast today. Now, most of the rain is going to be widespread. It develops south to north through the course of the day. Those of you in the far north country will see the rain developing later. Regardless, though, the last thing we need in our area is more rain. We all know what happened in Oneida, Little Falls, New Hartford, uh, Mohawk Valley, uh, the Route 12 corridor, the Shenango River Valley, the Sherburn areas, Norwich. You all had flooding on Friday, and it only slowly receded during the weekend. So the last thing we need is rain. Unfortunately, everybody's going to have some rain today. Details ahead on this in a second. As we watch the new rain, we've got to watch for a chance of localized flooding. Now, we had, when we had that flooding in, on Friday, we had over three inches of rain in those flood zones. While it's not impossible, I don't think we're going to get three inches of rain in our viewing area, which means our chances of the worst flooding like we had before isn't probably going to happen. However, we don't need as much as three inches of rain this go around to get localized flooding. So the bottom line is, I have a feeling there'll probably be some localized river rises. I bet you there's probably going to be some isolated areas that do flood. So this is something we'll watch for you. The best chances are going to be those rivers and streams and creeks that are already uh, very ag aggravated and agitated and, and well too high for what they should normally be at this time of year. We're still underneath this very unsettled weather pattern. So after we get through this regular rain that we've got today, we almost every day have a daily chance of showers and storms. Although, as you'll see, the chance does get lower as we get to the end of the week. So as of mid morning, Futurecast doing a very good job showing that the Futurecast and the showers have already pushed into the F uh, Finger Lakes and this will then overspread central New York. Notice how the North Country is still dry at noon. You'll probably have a little sun and you'll be in the upper 70s to near 80 while everybody else in central New York will be lucky to make 70, probably somewhere between 70 and 76. So rain's happening today, and there'll be some leftover rain this evening before it tapers down. Now, there may be one more round of showers that tries to push through during the wee hours of the morning. Total rainfall between now and basically tomorrow morning. Here's what I'm forecasting for. Oh, I don't have the right graphic in here. Well, I'll have to draw it for you. I think this area right here that I'm drawing, right about in there, will likely have at least an inch to locally an inch and a half, two inches. Right in there. And then somewhere else, there may be some isolated areas that get another one to two inches. So those areas I just draw would have the highest potential for localized flooding if and when warnings or advisories are issued. We have a watch, but when there's a warning for imminent danger from new flooding, if they are issued for parts of the area, whether they're counties or whether they're rivers, we will let you know on air and online. Tomorrow, it's still unsettled. We should have more sun, so we'll be warmer, upper 70s to low to mid 80s. But we have that instability, so once we get into that temperature zone, we're going to get scattered showers and storms likely in the area. After some fog in the morning tomorrow and some fog Wednesday morning, we'll likely still, I know you don't see anything in the morning, but likely we'll have the sun out, and that will lead to more scattered showers and storms. Not much sun today, folks. Maybe 10% sun, 40% sunshine, though, both Tuesday and Wednesday. Here's the probability. The probability that we have rain is very high today. Notice that the probability is still above 50%. That's why I've got these all in green right here. The difference between today and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays stuff is that today this rain is going to be widespread as opposed to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which is more scattered, which means some spots may miss some of those showers and storms. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, probability goes down while the temperature goes up to near 90. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Stay tuned.